Hello YouTube, BlueCFL here. This is going to be workbench system test number 12. I have my Simplex 2001 back out. Uh, it's not 100% done with its modifications though. I'm still waiting for some specialized tools to come in the mail and uh, do some more testing. What is new is this device right here, which, um, well, I wouldn't exactly say new. This is a couple of decades old, but I did get it in its original packaging and it is in mint condition. However, this device is not a 7001T. The model number is F34T-24-WS. This is the four-wire version of the 7001T, like this, excuse me, right here, is the four-wire version of the 7002T. The device looks very similar on the back, except uh, the strobe is on the front instead of being on the top. I have the horn and the strobe wired separately, so you could see the proper four-wire operation. The continuous run coder card is installed. I have the coding set to uh, 2021 or at least uh, my best way of doing that, uh, two, and then a larger space for the zero, and then a two, then a one, and the really long pause in between the next round. There's no pull stations hooked up, no end of line resistors. I didn't want to go too wild with this. It's kind of late at night and I want to get this up before the uh, start of the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the test switch here and have the horn go off. That's enough of that. Like I said, it's late at night and there's probably people trying to sleep, so I'm probably going to get yelled at. Anyway, the system is silenced. I'm going to go ahead and reset it. Make sure that's flipped down. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Push and hold the reset switch and the strobe will stop flashing. And that's it. Happy 2021 and I hope to see you next week for Fire Alarm Friday. Blue CFL out.